Yo, yo, yo. What's good? What's good, man? I know I was supposed to do this yesterday. Bro, that event took far too long. Ain't no way. What's good? How everybody doing on this nice Sunday morning, man? I went straight to sleep after that. My homie got right up out of there. And we gonna get into it, man. Make sure we thumbing up the, the live, man. Y'all know how this goes. Temperature check. We're gonna do a recap of this Drake card, man. I'm gonna do a quick recap of this Drake card. I'm gonna give you my winners and losers overall. It was a very solid event. It was a very solid event. Only had one bad battle. Only had one bad battle, and it wasn't who you thought it was gonna be. It wasn't who you thought it was gonna be. Uh, definitely had the streaks caught a body. I can't lie. The streaks caught a body last night. Might have caught two. Might have caught a couple bodies last night. If the streets needed a body, the streets got a body last night. But we're gonna we're gonna get into it, man. We're gonna let a couple more people get on up in here. We're gonna get this crack, man. I appreciate everybody rocking with me. I see you. I appreciate y'all, man. You know, hey, get it. You see the temperature check brand. You see the logo. We got the hoodies right now, two for eighty-five. T-shirts, two for thirty-five. Plus the shipping. Go ahead and spin the block on me one time. But we definitely gonna get into this card and give you. So, first battle of the night. So, first battle of the night was real sick versus Pat Stay. Um, I thought it was I thought it was a cool battle. Uh, I thought it would be a lot more energy. It had a lot of dry spots. Definitely had a lot more dry spots than what I thought. Um, far as winners and losers, man. I think Pat stay edge this one. I do think Pat stay edge this one. Um, I thought Real Six performance was cool, but he definitely had some dry spots. It's getting to the point with Real Six that I want to see. I want to see a little bit more versatility, man. Um, not just the rapping, but just the performance. I like. I like the way he was trying to use the stage. You know what I'm saying moving back and forth and everything like that, but. I just felt like Pat Stay was a little bit too witty. Um, like I said, it, it was a, it was a decent battle. It was a decent battle. I'll probably give it like a seven out of ten. It wasn't bad, uh, but I get I gave Pat Stay that one pretty pretty legitly. Um, moving right along though, because again, the the night was just the night just lingered, man. But moving right along, Chaz the rapper. Versus Gaddis. The streets needed a body. The streets needed a body. And guess what? The streets got one. Um, let's speak to Gaddis' performance before we talk about Jazz. I don't think Gaddis was bad. I really don't think Gaddis was bad. I thought a lot of her material was good. However, she did not write her material or the material did not hit the same in that room as it did the caffeine room. I felt like that was more, her bars were more based for a caffeine type of setting. Maybe she, she thought the crowd was going to be a little bit smaller um, than it was. But for that type of crowd, again, anything over, I would say anything over like 150 people, 200 people, man, you got to kind of write to a big stage. Um, you got to kind of keep the, the lyrics kind of surface level i mean you can definitely have some some spaces of intricacy in your rhymes but i think overall man you got to have the ability to know that the people need something they can really first watch in the room um in that building and again like i said i think she had a great performance i don't think her performance was bad it just didn't hit it just didn't hit. It kind of looked like if you you remember back to Summer Madness 11, if you remember back to Summer Madness 11, John John Adon versus Sue Surf. That's what it kind of felt like. That's what it kind of felt like to me. John John Adon with Sue and Sue Surf. Um, John John Adon being Gaddis and Jazz being Sue Surf, and that's what it was. The only thing that didn't mirror that that battle was the fact that um, Jazz did the smart thing by going first, and that that's really she set the pace and she set the standard. Like once she came out in that first round, 
if you didn't match that energy, it wasn't no let up. Jazz didn't let up all three rounds. She really like showed levels and versatility. I appreciate everybody up in the chat. Hey, I see you. I see what's going on, my brother. How you doing, G? Hey, man, we sitting here recapping this battle, man, and talk, we're talking the whole car, but right now we're talking about Jazz and Gaddis. And for me personally, like I said, man, at the end of the day, yeah, Jazz did her numbers, but she did everything. There wasn't one box that Jazz didn't check in her performance last night. If you want an angle, she had angles. She talked about why she don't rap like Gaddis. And we saw it. That's the crazy. That was the crazy part about that in the second round. After Gaddis, you know what I'm saying? She had a flawless round. No, no slips, no blips, no stumbles, no nothing. But wasn't getting that crowd reaction. Jazz in the second round literally said why she and showed that she had the ability to rap like Gaddis, but also showed why you shouldn't rap like that in a big room. That was crazy. She was going, bro. Jazz was going crazy in every single round. And again, she she addressed everything we wanted to hear about, everything you wanted to know about. So she talked about the fact that she wasn't a virgin no more. She talked about the level up after getting. You know what I'm saying? If you saw the battle, I'm not, I can't say I can't say that bar. But if you saw the battle, she said she like Super Mario Brothers. You know what I'm saying? She took something and leveled up. I'll leave it at that. But like. But her, her performance was flawless and it was scary. And she had call outs. What y'all think about her calling out EFB and calling out Geechee? No one really talking about that. I gotta, I'm not mad at that. Kings versus Queens, I'm not mad at that. Even in the volume setting, why not? Even in the volume setting, why not? That setting right there, why not? Jazz versus Geechee, after, after what we just saw last night, it makes sense to me. It makes sense to me. But again, like she addressed the QP. She she got very detailed in her in the QP situation. I'm saying even emphasize again, the camera tried to cut off. We know what she was doing. We knew what she was doing. The performance was crazy. The performance was crazy. I will also say this. Was there a little bit of gas in the room? Yes. Yes, there was a little bit of gas in the room, but it also was warranted gas. Shout out Luke Castro, man. He might be the uh, second best hype man in battle rap. You got Tay Rock and then you got Luke Castro. You can hear him clearly over everybody else in the room. But like I said, man, I didn't think Gaddis was bad. I didn't. I just didn't think she, she wrote for a big room, and it showed. It showed. Um, I don't know, you know what I'm saying, for both of them. I definitely think Gaddis... I think she does. If she wants Casey, she could definitely get Casey. She des definitely deserves Casey. But I don't, for right now, I don't think that's a good look. I don't think that battle right now is a good look because the consensus is, is that Jazz, you know what I'm saying? If she didn't get the third, the gentleman's 30, she got the body. The streets needed a body. DNA said the streets needed a body. And I think we got one. I think we got one, man. But it's crazy. I, Obviously, we know the playback is going to be different and everybody's going to be able to understand and listen to the intricate ways that Gaddis was laying her pin because she had a great performance. But it wasn't what we wanted to hear. It wasn't what we wanted to hear and how we wanted to hear it. We knew, And then, again, Jazz was really just a vet, man, by going first, addressing all the angles that Gaddis was going to have with her. Already saying that Gaddis knew she already knew Gaddis was gonna call her a snitch, say she was a police, so she already addressed that. But then in the third round, how she in the first round, do y'all remember how she said the third round about to be loopy for you? And then in the third round, she addressed the fact that she is a 911 operator and how she literally has to like while she's trying to save lives on the phone, she's she's trying to kill people with the pen, bruh. That's crazy. Has Gaddis battled Vixen yet? No, man, Gaddis hasn't battled Vixen. Um, Gaddis definitely was talking her ish on uh on on uh Twitter last night. Definitely was going crazy on Twitter, going crazy on Instagram last night. A lot of people, if they if if they wanted to take a shot at Gaddis, they definitely did, man. Um, 
you definitely saw a lot of people taking their shots at Gaddis. But shout out to Gaddis, man. She's a great sport. And, I mean, one thing you know about her, she's going to be back outside. And you know it's probably going to be sooner than later, man, because she ain't going to want to hear about her taking a loss from Gaddis from uh, Jazz like that. But again, like I said, man, Jazz came back. No slips, no blips, no stumbles, man. It was crazy. It was crazy in there, man. Hey, shout out to everybody in the chat. Make sure to thumbs up the video, man. Thumbs up the video. I know it's early. I know it's a Sunday. But help a brother out a little bit, man. Uh, moving right along. Moving right along. Next battle we're going to get into. Cal versus Stu Surf. I got to stop playing with Stu Surf. Y'all got to stop playing with Sue Surf. 30 days prep, he did it. 30 days prep, he did it. Think about that. Think about what he just did in 30 days prep. He just John John the Don, and 30 days later came back, and I got him beating Sue Surf. I'm going I'm to come. Let's get straight to it. I got him beating Sue Surf. I see a lot of people trying to give – give um Sue Surf a 30. I don't think it was a 30. I don't think it was a 30. I think to me, I got Cal slightly edging in that first, but I got Sue Surf showing levels in the second and the third. And we're not gonna we not gonna skip over the fact that that Cal choked in the third either. We not gonna act like that ain't happen. We not gonna act like that ain't happen. Sue Surf again was it gonna be the same type of performance that he gave us a summer madness? No. No, you know what I'm saying? Michael Jordan give us 70 points. That don't mean he going to give us 70 every night. And you can't fault him for just giving you 50. If he gave you 70 on Saturday, he can't come back right, right back and give you 70 on Sunday. But if he give you 45, he give you 50. You got to acknowledge that. And that's what happened. I got 2-1 surf, man. You say I fell asleep a couple times. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. It was a, it was a battle that I did kind of snooze on, but I, hey, you know what I'm saying? They got apps for that. I, I went back and watched it today. But again, man, Sue Surf, I got him in the second and the third, man. I got him showing levels. And again, d doing vet things, going first, setting the pace for the battle, setting the pace for the battle. People want to say that he was rapping quick. So I understood what he was saying, point taken. I like this Sue Surf, man. And he's already said he's he's already coming out and saying he got another battle again. He's trying to get another one in December. And what I need to start doing is talking about Sue Surf in this whole champion of the year conversation. I'm just being honest. Now, am I saying that Sue Surf is going to win champion of the year? Absolutely not. He's not going to win champion of the year. But what I am saying at this point, he just beat a John John the Dine that was doing his thing, doing his numbers. We're not going to act like John John the Dine wasn't John John the Dine before Sue Surf got a hold of him on Summer Madness 11. Secondly, we're not about to act like y'all didn't have. The consensus is, right, the consensus is that Calico beat Hitman. That's what everybody told me, that Calico beat Hitman. I didn't see it that way, but y'all told me Calico beat Hitman. All right, whatever. Y'all was a lot of people say be Geechee. Some people were saying Kyle be Geechee. Now, what you doing with this then? If if all that if all that transpired, if all of that transpired, then you gotta give Sue Surface flowers. Cause he stopped a run, right? Why well, talk about it? Because I went back and watched it. I went back and watched it. That's why I can talk about it. I won't talk about it if I didn't see it. I ain't even get to the battle. I felt. Come on, son. Come on, son. It's too early in the morning for that. It's too early in the morning for that. But I'm telling you, Sue Surf. I like. I like this performance. I like this performance. Again, it wasn't the 70 point game that he gave us at Summer Madness. But don't act like he didn't give us a nice 45. Don't act like he didn't give us a nice 45. I'm cool with that. I'm telling you, man, hey, ever since Sue Surf and Tay Rock, man, added uh, easy to gun titles, and they said that gun titles will not lose the rest of the year, they 2-0. They 2-0. That's all I'm saying. He ain't missed yet. So I'm excited to see who he could possibly get in, um, in December, man. I know a lot of people are going to be saying JC because JC still has yet to make his comeback, but he got LL Kuji coming up. If y'all don't know, uh, the battle got canceled between JC and 
Sirius Jones. So Sirius Jones got in a bad car accident. Prayers to him, man. Broke some vertebrae in his neck. All type of stuff was going on. So prayers and shouts out to uh, Sirius Jones. Hope he, hoping for a safe recovery. But that's why the him and JC ain't going down in volume next week. So do y'all want to see? Is it time to see? I know Sue Surf said he was on punishment. And I know Sue Surf said JC was on punishment for the next 12 months. But all things can t- considered, do y'all want to see Sue Surf versus JC in December? It could definitely happen, man. Iron Solomon was out there. I did see Iron Solomon in the crowd. I heard he's supposed to be coming back to battle rap. And mind you, if Sue Surf, this was on 30 Days Prep, he took Cal. If Sue Surf, you know he's going to sit out until this battle in December. If he's locked in as he's been these last two battles, it's going to get spooky, bro. It's going to get spooky, bro. More skeet. Surf, hey, that's what I'm saying. Gun titles, what up? That's all I'm saying. It, it was one of them ones last night. It was a good battle, though. Cal did his thing. Cal did his numbers. Cal was Cal, though. Cal was Cal. He gave us the real talk. He gave us the straightforward. But Sue Surf did things in the battle that people that, that he um that blackface is Cal's brother. Like he or is uh Cal's dad. He really went at that directly and said, if your dad is BMF, like you say he is, why wasn't he in the BMF? Come on, man. I know some of y'all was looking for Cal's dad in that BMF, in the BMF documentary. I know y'all was in the series. Y'all was looking for that. He addressed that. And Sue Surf, I mean, even when he came out on stage, what he do? Walk straight up to Cal. Let him know. It ain't going to be that, though. You might have got over on me in the face off, but it ain't going to be that, though. This is my ish. I'm telling you right now, I got to give a lot more. Y'all got to put a lot of respect on Sue Surf names, what he's been able to do in the past 30 days. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But show your thumbs up the video. Let's get into this battle of the night. Let's get into this battle of the night. Let's talk this battle of the night talk. Thumbs up the video. Let's talk this battle of the night talk. Tay Rock versus New Jersey Twerk. I'm strapped in! Three rounds. All three. He needed that. He needed that. Who y'all have winning? Let's see who y'all had winning in the chat before we get in. Before I give y'all my thoughts and my opinions on Rock versus New Jersey Twerk, I got it as Battle of the Night. Right now, I got Jazz the rapper as performance of the night. I'm gonna say that I got Jazz as my performance of the night. But Tay Rock and Twerk was by far Battle of the Night for me. Battle of the Night. They gave they gave us one. They gave us one. Shout out to Drake. Shout out to Drake making dreams come true. This is one of the battles we actually did want to see. I don't know if we wanted to see some of these other battles again, but I appreciate you, Drake. I appreciate you, Drake. He gave us one with The Rock. He gave us one with The Rock in the New Jersey twerk battle, man. Salute to, hey, man. Salute to New Jersey twerk, man. Two battles in a row. And we we, we going to kill him when he, when he stumbling, when he giving bad performances. We got to at least acknowledge the good ones. He was great against Loso. He was great against Rock. Salute to New Jersey twerk. We got to do that. We got to do that. Salute to New Jersey twerk. But he was going up against the gun bar king. He was going up against Mr. Consistent for the last, what, decade? I know Geechee's face right now, but who who did he take the face from? Hey, yo, Rock! That's who he took the face from. That man, Tayra. Hey, it was one of them ones. So let, let's let's get let's get right down to the nitty gritty, man. I had twerk clear in the third. Clear in the third. I had rock. Rock gave us that legendary second round rock. The rock you wanted to see, that rock versus hollow, you got that. You wanted that ill will rock, you got that. You got that. You want that second round rock from daylight? You got that. He gave us that with that second round. Second round clear. 
So it really just comes down to the first. It comes down to the first. Now, I already know what you're thinking. Everybody's how it come down to the first. Why does it come down to the first? Because you can't let the crowd sway you. You cannot let the crowd sway you in this battle. New Jersey twerk going, New Jersey twerk going crazy in the first. He went crazy in the first, but he also has some dry spots. But he also has some dry spots. He had haymakers in that first, but he also had some things that did not hit. Rock was tactical in the first, very tactical in the first. A lot more. I think he was a little, even a little bit more layered than, than New Jersey twerk normally is. I think he was a little bit more layered than twerk in that first round for me. And then he, he hits you with the line. I can't watch my brother die. So I turn my, come on. That haymaker was like, okay, it was like Super Mario's when you hit the mystery box, boom, unlock. That haymaker was worth double. That haymaker was worth double. I'm not going to lie to you. For me personally, for me personally, I got rock. I got rock in this battle, man. I got rock 2-1. Shout out to rock. Shout out to New Jersey twerk. Classic. Classic rock performance, classic twerk performance. Am I going to say the battle was a classic? I don't know yet. I got to watch it back. But I will do that today. Um, But I got rock winning this battle 2-1. First and the second. I got him edging twerk in the first. And I got him clear in the second. And I got twerk clear in the third. But that doesn't take away from what twerk has been able to do. I'm not doing y'all And anybody who's been rocking with me, for as the entire time I've been blogging, I'm very critical of Twerk. Because talent-wise, there's no way he's not the best in the world. He's the most electrifying battle rapper in battle rap. But he's now he's starting to show, uh, correct this whole uh, bad performance thing. If he can give me, like, I need one more battle like this. I need one more like this. You got Cal 2 1? Okay. Hey, respectfully, respect. I need one more battle like this, Twerk. I'm not about to sit here and say you're about to give us a bad performance next. I'm not going to say that. I'm not looking. And it, I'm not giving you the if factor. I've taken the if factor away. But to for me to have 110% confidence, I need one more battle. I need one more battle like this. And you get, and hey, I'm rocking with you. But shout out to Twerk. Shout out to. Um, shout out to Rock, man. Rock been in this discussion for champion of the year, too. He got Chilla and he got Twerk in the same year. That's all I'm saying. Gun titles, are, gun titles is about to be all up and through champion of the year. That's a fact. If you think about it, gun titles is about to be, their, their whole team is going to be in champion of the year discussion. Think about that. Think about that right now. Chess. Champion of the Year discussion. Easy. Champion of the Year discussion. Rock. Champion of the Year discussion. Surf. Champion of the Year discussion. And then when they're talking to, to people like uh, Prestavia, when you got Prestavia on the come up, everybody know who Prestavia is. And if you don't know who Prestavia is, you need to, at the end of this live, you need to go check out who Prestavia is. Because she on the way. And she got top tier women scared already. They already know what time it is. She got some of the dudes nervous. They already know what time it is with Prestavia. I'm telling you, bro. If you don't know who Prestavia is, please go check her out after the end of this live. She is like that. She is definitely like that. So we talk. I had so let's do a quick recap, man. I got Pat Stay uh beating real sick. I got jazz. The streets needed a body. She gave us one respectfully. Um, I got Sue Surf 2 1. And like I said, man, I got rock. I got rock in this one. Now let's get to this. The battle that disappointed us the most, man. No, she definitely was. 
Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Let's get to the battle of that. No one really liked, man. Underwhelming. Also, what is going on? Rex versus Nitty. I didn't like the battle that much. I did not like the battle. This was the worst battle on the card for me, personally. This was the worst battle on the card for me. What was Rex doing? What was Rex saying? Why did he throw his hat down in the first four bars? He threw his hat down in the first four bars. Like, Jesus Christ. You ain't even let yourself work up to, to gain the momentum of the crowd. He said, well, ain't no better time to start it off with, with the hat throwing than now because, hell, they're rocking with me with the first four bars. Like, Jesus Christ, let us get into the round, sir. Build the momentum. You use your finishing move in the first 10 seconds of the fight. And I don't know, man, like outside of the outside of the um silence and sound like uh Rex talking. I mean nitty. 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 Come on, nitty. We need more now. We need more now. I think this was one of them friendly battles. I think this was, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you do battles back the second time, and you should not do them back the second time. I think that's what this was. We should have left this one, stay where it was at. I got I got Nitty 2-1. I got Nitty 2-1. I got him in the second and in the third. I got Nitty 2-1, second and third. But it was the worst battle on the card for me, respectfully. The worst battle on the card for me, respectfully. If being honest, someone tell me if I'm wrong in the chat. I, I, I watched, I tried, what was it, seven hours we was all on, all watching these battles? That was the worst one. That's, that's all I can say about it, man. But I got, I got Romniti winning. I think he did exactly what he was supposed to do, but it wasn't, it wasn't a, it wasn't an AV type performance. Hell, it wasn't him versus Geechee. Like, we we need more. We need more nitty. We need more nitty. Maybe you need to take a, a a break for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You've been pretty consistent. You did a tournament. You battled Hollow. You just battled T Rex. Maybe you know what I'm saying? It's cool. You got like 75k. I mean, I ain't, I ain't pocket watching, but I at least know you won a tournament. You split it for 75. So you know what I'm saying? Take a little break. I know Drake. Drake probably paid you 75 for this battle. But it just wasn't wasn't very underwhelming. It wasn't a battle that I, I wanted to see. But uh but uh this Geechee battle though. Where are you Lux fans at? Let's talk to all the Lux fans. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Hmm? Where y'all go? Where y'all at? Let's talk, let's talk to all the Lux fans. That's what you wanted to see. That's what you thought was gonna be the Geechee Gotti. Are you crazy? In Long Beach, first of all, where did all my, first of all, where did all those people come from? Where did all those people come from that was on the stage? My God, hey man, make sure y'all thumbs up the video. Make sure you thumbing up the video. We we talking about this Drake card. I'm giving y'all the recap. It, you know what I'm saying? Help a brother out. But all these looks, man. Again, this is why I say, like, don't, no one cares about what happens on the playback. I don't care if your performance is better on the playback. You got one time to impress me. You got one time to impress me when it comes to battle rap. It used to, again, old school, everyone want to talk about what they did in the old school. There was no replay in the old school. You were judged right there, right in front of your face. You either won or you lost, and you went home. That was it. So if that's what we're doing, where are all these Loaded Lux fans at? I thought Loaded Lux wasn't no gangbanger. Wait a minute. I thought Loaded Lux wasn't no gang member. He talking about people being lost. Is he lost too? Rum Nitty talking about T-Rex uh, becoming a crip. He wasn't crypt the last time. Is Loaded Lux you out here banging blood? What is going on? Who in your entourage? 
And then Geechee said, you ain't even had a flag on the right side. What is going on? Where are all the loaded Lux fans at? Everybody quiet now. Everybody quiet now. Uh, Geechee different. I know everyone was talking about this new era Mount Rushmore. No, I think it's time that we start talking about Geechee on Mount Rushmore, period. Period. And you seen him with the OVO. So you know what up. You know what up. They trying to do a million dollar, a million dollar battle. Who you think? Who you think they're setting up to be for? A million dollar battle right now? Who's who's the face of battle rap right now? Who is the logo? It's Geechee. It's setting up for Geechee. Champion of the year, pretty much over and done with. Who beating his resume? Who beating his resume right now? And you know he about to be on another volume. Maybe not the one next week, but definitely going to be the one in December. But you know what? He probably will be on the one next week. Why not? Why not? Why not b- battle Lodi Lux and then mess around and battle somebody else? Because he's Geechee and he can? Now, Geechee's believability is unreal. It's unreal. Like, Geechee, there's no off switch to Geechee. Geechee wake up mad every day. He wake up with an attitude every day. Uh, Geechee is really everything he says he is and more. He shows it on camera, off camera. It don't change with him, bro. Loaded Lux, where are all the fans at? Loaded Lux was slippy and blippy in the second and the third. He was stumbling and fumbling in the second and in the third. That's a fact. Geechee was talking to Loaded Lux. Talking, about how, how are you for the culture, but you, you only come outside for the big money? He said that to Loaded Lux. He barked on Loaded Lux. Geechee... Uh, Geechee always saying no one talks like him. It's a fact. Geechee don't care who you are when you're in front of him. He do not care about your legacy. He do not care about your status. He don't care how much money you got. He don't care how many battles you won. Like, he don't care. He don't care about how many stages you touched. You could be Loaded Lux or you could be me battling and you're going to get the same Geechee, bro. The same Geechee. Geechee is different. Ishii is different. Like, you see what's going on. Just, you see how much battle rap has changed in the last, what, two years? You see how, you see what's going on. We see the writing on the wall. Everybody hitching their wagon to Geechee. The URL hitching their wagon to Geechee. Caffeine hitching their wagon to Geechee. As they should. As they should. This is not hate. This is all facts. Geechee just 30 Lux. 30 him. And he just battled 30 days ago. He just battled Cal 30 days ago. And he just 30 Lux. Think about that. What are we talking about? What are we talking about right now? How is Geechee not on Mount Rushmore? He just battled. Cal in just 30 lux in 30 days. Come on, man. Let's talk about what's really going on. It's crazy, bro. So, yes, I I got the 30 clip for Geechee, man. I got him with the 30 clip over Lux. Lux. And I said this. And I said this. When was Lux's last good performance? When was Lux's last good performance? Don't tell me about the playback. I'm talking about in the building. When was his last good performance? I'll wait. I'll wait. That's what I'm going to have to do. Just like you got to wait for one of his lines to hit, I'll wait for one of y'all to tell me his last good three-round battle. We got to start keeping the same energy. 
We got to start telling these battle rappers the truth. We got to. That was not a good loaded Lux. Not a good loaded Lux at all. He got 30. Where does he go from here? He better come back outside. He better come back outside. If not, it's going to be bad. And I'm 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 gonna be breaking down a couple of these battles too. Definitely gonna definitely gonna do the twerk versus uh Tay Rock battle. Probably definitely gonna be doing um Jazz versus Gaddis. Y'all already know how I rock with the women, so y'all know, know I'm gonna do that one. And then maybe maybe Surf versus Kyle. We'll see how that one go. We'll see how that one go. But overall, man, till death do us part. You see what's going on, man. You see, you see, and the stars are starting to come out at these battle rap events. Money is starting to be invested into this battle rap culture at a very, very fast pace. Y'all better start paying attention to what's going on in this culture. The culture is about to change. We thought the culture was changing. The culture is about to pick up right now. URL is really trying to set this, set themselves apart. They talking about doing a million dollar battle. Gucci about to get a million dollar battle. All right, man. That's all I'm saying. But I appreciate y'all rocking with me, man. I'm going to get on the fight of here. I'm tired. I'm about to go take a nap, go eat some food. But this is Temperature Check. I am your host as always, man. Mr. Check the Temperature. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And what I always say, man, we just getting started.